so a bank teller has 25 more $5 bills than $10 bills in his cash drawer. The total value of the bills is 2000 so we know it's going to be equal to 2000 That doesn't help us rule any of these answers out. If x represents the number of tens, x is representing the number of tens, which equation could be used to find the number of $10 bills in the cash drawer. So what we're going to do here, if we know that the fives is 25 more than the tens, that's going to be an x plus 25. However, we've got the value of the $5 bills. So that's going to be 5 times that. And then the value of the 10 is 10x. So we're going to have the $5 bills are however many 10s there are and 25 more. And then the $10 bills have a value of 10 and ha this is the number of 10 dollar bills that we have. And we have a total value of 2,000 here. This does not equal this. Let's see, we've got 5 times x, which is okay. Let's see, this would be 5 times x, and this would be 125 plus 10x equals 2,000. So this is another possibility, and if they combine the like terms, we could have 15x plus 125 equals 2,000. So those, those would work. Um, they've got 10 times x plus 25, and that's just not where we needed that. We needed this x plus 25 over here with the 5, so this is not correct. 10 times x is okay, plus the 5, parentheses, x plus 25, that's okay, equals 2,000. So that looks good. And what's wrong with number or letter D is that the 25, they did not distribute the 5 to the 25. That should be 125 right there, and that's what's wrong with D. So C is the best answer choice for that one. Formula for the perimeter of a rectangle is P equals 2 times the length plus 2 times the width. The perimeter of the rectangle below is 32, degree, 32 inches. So if 32 inches is the perimeter and it's equal to 2 times the length, which on this rectangle is 4, plus 2 times the width, what is the width? So we've got 8 here. Subtract 8, subtract 8. 24 is equal to 2W. Divide both sides by 2, and 12 is equal to W. And the answer choice for that one is B. Helga bought nine vases of flowers. Each vase contained an equal number of flowers. She gave away three of these vases of flowers. There are 72 total flowers in the vases that Helga has left. The equation below can be used to find F, the number of flowers in each vase. How many flowers are in each of these vases? So all of this to say, solve this equation. 9 minus 3 is 6. So we have 6F equals 72. Divide both sides by 6. F is equal to 12. All right, next one. Kindle has only quarters and dimes in her pocket. The total value of these coins is $1.50. The equation can below can be used to find Q, the number of quarters, and D, the number of dimes in her pocket. So solve this if she's got four quarters in her pocket. So 25 times 4 plus 10 times D equals 150. I can do that because it says she... So subtract 100 from both sides. We get 10D is equal to 50. Divide by 10. Divide by 10. D is equal to 5. There we go. Chris uses this equation. C equals 3H put 6 to find the total cost C in dollars of renting a go-kart for H hours. If Chris does not spend more than 36, what is the maximum number of hours she can rent the go-kart? Subtract 6 from both sides. We have 30 is equal to 3H divided by 3 divided by 3. 10 is equal to H. 
Today, Stephen shopped at 14 more stores than two times as many stores as he did during his previous time shopping. If today he stopped at, shopped at a total of 20 stores, how many stores did he shop at during his previous trip? So 14 more is plus 14. Then two times as many, so we'll say two times as many S for stores. And it's supposed to be equal to 20. Subtract 14. Subtract 14. 2S. It's equal to 6. Divide by 2. Divide by 2. S is equal to 3. Getting close to the end. Alright, so what I'm going to do on this one, I'm going to divide both sides by negative 3. So divide. So this is going to give me negative 50 is equal to 7V minus 8. I'm going to add 8 to both sides. I have negative 42 is equal to 7V. Divide by 7. Divide by 7. And negative 6 is equal to V. Next. Negative 273 is equal to negative 7, parentheses 4x plus 7. So if you distribute this one, I'll do it the di other way this time. If you distribute, this will be negative 28x plus a negative 49. If you add 49 to both sides, negative 273 plus a positive 49 is negative 224 equals negative 28x. Divide both sides by negative 28. And 8 is equal to x. Lee had some candy to give to her three children. She first took nine pieces for herself, then evenly divided the rest among her children. So with how many pieces did she start? So we've got 3 times 4 to each of her children plus the 9 that she ate is how many candy pieces that she started with. So this is 12 plus 9 which is 21. Danielle spent half of her weekly allowance at the movies. So allowance divided by 2. To earn money, her parents let her clean the oven for $5. She got five more dollars there. She has $13 now. So there's the equation. Solve A divided by 2 is equal to 8 times 2 times 2. A is equal to 16. And finally, that is all we have for writing and solving equations. Thanks for listening.